<laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, a pet is really just, uh, it's an individual thing for a lot of people. I mean, when we think of pet right away, we often think of dog and cat, or maybe sometimes hamster and mouse. But uh, there's a number of people out there that think a spider and scorpion is the way to go, and so we have those. We actually stay away from the insects, believe it or not, although some of them make great pets too, uh, because they require all sorts of other permits to move around, whereas the arachnids don't. So what you see here, the spiders, scorpions, and some of their close relatives, and even the centipedes and millipedes, don't require those permits and are easier to move around. Okay, cool. I did not know that. Generally, when I am talking to people and they're picking one for the first time, I'm going to go with something that can't do them any damage at all. Um, for example, the scorpions are all uh, venomous, the stinging tail, and the uh, spiders are also all venomous, even though some of them are very easily handleable. So sometimes I even steer them away from those and go for things like a whip scorpion, which I can show you. Yeah, sure, that'd be awesome. Sure, why not? Talk about great starter pets. This is an arachnid, a whip scorpion, related very closely to the scorpions and spiders. Uh, no stinging tail, uh, no claws that can really give you any good pinch. These are things you can just get in there right away and sort of get onto your hand fairly quickly. And so this would be a great start for a beginner who wants to try an arachnid as a pet. The other good thing about these and a lot of other arachnids are the fact that Although you don't ever want to abuse any animal, these are ones that can take a little bit of neglect or if you're learning and you're forgetting things like, oh, hi, you know, I, I, I forgot to feed it or I'm going away for the weekend and I don't have anybody to look after my pet, no problem. Uh, some of these things can go a number of weeks without ever eating or drinking. So you've got that uh, uh, easy maintenance side to them as well. Yeah, definitely. And then, of course, going up from there, then you can work your way to some of the scorpions and spiders. Uh, there are a number of spiders that are handleable too, um, but even there, you you know, you you want to have had at least a little bit of experience with them. Yeah, definitely. Always had a little bit of an affinity for the spiders, though. Um, personally, I think uh, the coolest one I have is probably not one you out. It isn't one you'd ever pick up. But if you just ask me off the top of my head, I've always had a thing for ornamentals. This is uh, a thing from um, uh, wow. India and Southeast Asia. Um, they sit more on vertical surfaces on the bark of trees. That's exactly how they sit. They hide in there. But these are pretty, pretty things. They will just essentially sit there like that which is why we can get as close to it as we're doing here. This is not a handling spider. Start putting your hand in there, and uh, that's why even on the outside of the case, when we mark things, it has an unhappy face. This is one that uh, either you or it will be unhappy, probably you later. Yeah. <laughs> but absolutely a beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Super sexy, and uh, if I had to pick one quick, I would pick that one. Awesome.